There are hundreds of videos online proclaiming many wild stories about the alleged truth of Christianity. Do not believe any of them. My name is Nick Clark from England and I was the enlightened one. I was enlightened by whatever God is in 1995. I know that not only is divine enlightenment real and obtainable, it is also one particular thing, namely a halo of light. Many false teachers online are proclaiming they somehow have higher knowledge of the truth regarding halos in religious art, and there are many wild, outlandish and blatantly fabricated stories regarding holy illumination and the Illuminati. Let's get one thing clear immediately. Halos exist and are very rare. They also have nothing, I repeat nothing, to do with ancient Egyptian sun worship as many false secular teachers are proclaiming online and elsewhere. The lies regarding divine enlightenment are very serious. One is not surprised mankind is in the dark when not only do they not know the truth regarding enlightenment, but they are being taught blatant untruths by irresponsible fools who either do not know the truth about halos either, are lying to cover up the truth, or they're just very, very stupid people thinking they know more than they do. Take these two authors, Dan Brown and Jonathan Black. They both assert the same thing in their respective books, Angels and Demons and the Secret History of the World, that halos in ancient religious art were originally something to do with ancient Egyptian sun worship. This is categorically not the case. Unfortunately for them, and possibly mankind's ignorance in general, I am one of the few who knows what divine enlightenment is seemingly, that it exists, it's very hard to obtain, and when and if you do, it changes your life forever. In a split second of holy illumination by literal golden light coming down into your mind during a state of apotheosis. This light comes down into the mind, not around the mind like an art, but you witness it internally, it involves seemingly mental biophotons. When the lucky recipient of the light nimbus is engulfed momentarily in this sacred light, he becomes set apart from mankind, altered, raised in the power of divine knowledge and conscious awareness, and granted some evidence that there may well indeed be a divine force, an all-seeing God, running the show in the subtle wings of life, culture and reality. I did not know I was destined to be enlightened, although I did answer once when asked by my housemaster what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I intended to be Buddha, which simply means the enlightened one. Enlightenment is a higher state of mindful awareness. It leaves the realms of belief and faith and heads instead into the realms of knowledge of the divine. In James 1.12 it is likely they call them a crown of life, for while halos are not traditionally seen as a biblical concept, much to man's faithful ignorance and shame, it is highly likely that a halo as we understand the term in the modern world, being a ring of golden light around the head of a saint, in the Bible they are likely to be referred to as crowns, crowns of light, or indeed crowns of life. Being illuminated by the higher power has nothing to do with world rule, shape-shifting lizard alien satanists, evil, cults, secret societies, symbols or any other manner of occultic nonsense people believe in the modern world. In fact, it is to be made divinely human by the Supreme and Holy One. The greatest problem, however, is proving the truth. Due to the fleeting moment happening in a random state of heightened personal awareness and power, off due to fortitude and faith in the word of God, one would need to be permanently strapped to a portable MRI scanner to see any actual hard copy effects, and even then it would be spurious. An artist such as myself can paint a picture representing the experience, as seen here, but no way does it really explain how you obtain a halo, what they're for, or, for the most part of mankind's collective naivety, that they exist at all. They do, but they're very, very rare, and in my experience I had to endure months of mental anguish before I was liberated by the unction. But I kept the faith, always. Furthermore, it is as if they do not want you to know the truth, if they know the truth at all, and would happily parade lies online to keep mankind, you, the slaves, ignorant and working hard to fuel the economy. 
For if everyone knew enlightenment and what it really was and what it really meant and how it truly felt, the world would arguably be a far different place. So remember, halos have nothing to do with the sun, ancient Egypt or worshipping a star. They are most likely to be crowns of life mentioned in the Gospels. Most people have no idea they even exist, and yes, the human mind can make biophotons in certain states. It is some evidence of there being a god, and you will probably have to suffer to earn one as they don't come easy and the recipient must surely be worthy. Follow me for forthcoming videos including a look soon at who the synagogue of Satan might actually be referring to in the book of Revelation. The Jews who say they are Jews but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Thank you for your time.